Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can inject Game Boy Advance games into the Wii U Virtual Console. Before I do get started on this video, I do want to address a few things real quick. First of all, welcome to my 2am recording session. I find it kind of hard to make YouTube videos with my insanely busy schedule. Most of the time I am busy with school or busy on Twitch, so I do want to apologize again for the inactive uploads. However, for 2022, I do want to try and set a goal for at least two videos a month. They don't have to be necessarily modding videos, but at least just two videos a month. So maybe the videos for this month are probably gonna end up being this guide right here and also a room tour, depending on how fast my capture card for my 3DS comes back. But I do have to thank you so, so much for 1,000 views on two of my videos. That's insane. I never thought it would happen. That's so many views. So thank you guys so much for supporting. I, I love responding to your guys' comments. It's, it's, I really, really enjoy doing YouTube. Also, thank you guys so much for 100 subs. I don't even know what to say. Like, thank you guys so much. We were finally able to get that custom URL, youtube.com slash Zemnus was taken, but I threw data Zemnus and it worked, so I'm not really complaining. It's so nice to finally have an easy way to direct people to my YouTube channel. Also, I never really mentioned this on my YouTube videos, but I also have a Discord server, discord.io slash Zemnus. We have a lot of fun on there. It's a community Discord server. And I'm totally open to talk about 3DS and Wii U modding on there as well. I actually just made a channel for that, so make sure to hop in there. But other than that, let's get started. So, when it comes to the Game Boy Advance Virtual Console, it was done on the 3DS, but it was for ambassadors only. But they did end up releasing some Game Boy Advance Virtual Console games on the eShop. So a few prerequisites, as most of you guys should know, you're going to need to have custom firmware on your Wii U, you're going to need Weapon Installer GX2, and either Mocha Custom Firmware Hakshi or Kobu Hakshi. All of this information can be found on Wii U.Guide, so I highly recommend checking that out. Also, you're going to have to have Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector, the program installed on your PC. If you guys don't have that installed, make sure to check out the description as I have the setup video down below. So, in order to get started, you're going to want to open up your start menu and open up Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector on your PC. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to head on over to the Game Boy Advance section. So, the reason I decided to not do a separate guide for Game Boy Color, by the way, is because it's a very similar process to the regular Game Boy stuff, so I didn't think it was worth creating another guide for that. So if any of you guys are curious on that, that is the reason. So in order to get started, you're going to want to select a base. If you hover over this, it says for RTC, use Rockman EXC. If you don't use this as a base for any game that requires RTC to work properly, it's going to give you the error that the internal battery has run dry and you don't want to see that. It does limit some in-game events, so we're going to try and avoid that. So, what you're going to want to do is click on this, and then go down to Rockman EXC. You're going to need to enter the title key. You can find more information at titlekeys.ovh. I won't be going into it in this video though, since it is copyrighted material. And after you have that entered, you're going to want to click the download button. By the way, quick tip, if you're having trouble finding the game, Use the ID instead of the game name itself since it is a Japanese game. The name is also in Japanese on the title keys website. So just wanted to point that out real quick. So over here you can see Poke Patch, and what it does is it patches the Pokemon Game Boy Advance games to work with the Game Boy Advance virtual console. So we're gonna be injecting Pokemon Sapphire today, so I'm going to click enable on that. After that, you're going to want to select your ROM path. So believe it or not, this game actually already has its own boot images already made. You're definitely going to find this in the more common or just Nintendo games in general. So you can actually just click yes and all the work here is done for you already. Now the last thing to do is just to throw in the game name. So Pokemon Sapphire version. And after that, you're just going to want to click inject. 
Alright, so after that's done, you're going to want to pack it as a WUP installable. Alright, so after that is done, you're going to want to click open folder. And you're going to want to copy the game from your completed Inject folder. And throw it into the install folder on your SD card. After that, you're going to want to insert your SD card back into your Wii U. And I will see you there. Alright, so once you get on over to your Wii U, you're going to want to launch WUP Installer GX2. After that, Pokemon Sapphire should appear, or whatever game you're injecting. So click on it, click on install, click the yes, then click the USB so that you don't accidentally create junk data if the install fails. And... Successfully installed. So head back to your Wii U menu and you can see that the game has actually been installed. So you can open it up and it will have the, the logo and everything. And as you can see, the game runs as intended. So basically, you would probably see the title screen. It's also good to make sure that it doesn't tell you that the internal battery has run dry there are also some settings that i like to change like you can i think even change the okay you can change the button map mapping oh wait you can never mind you can you can change the button map mapping it's just different the location is different um i like to have it in pixel perfect mode and also like to have screen smoothing on so you should turn on all those settings and also adjust um, the controller if you want to change it. Um, but uh, the reason that this is actually being continued from Granite Cave at the moment is because I've been actually playing Pokemon Sapphire on stream, twitch.tv slash data Zemnus. But other than that, I want to really thank you guys so much for watching this guide. Definitely make sure to drop a follow on Twitch as that's basically my main spot. I'm a lot more active there. I've tried to stream three to four days a week compared to trying to get out two videos a month. Make sure to like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Other than that, thank you guys so much for your continued support. Thank you again for 100 subscribers and I will see you guys all later. Take care everyone.